Hi, so you want to see the Instant Pot water test? Okay, here it is. Done! Now you're a pro. Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to GreatChowTV.com. I am Jason and I hope you're having an amazing day. Thank you so much for joining me and today we are here at the waterfalls to perform the Instant Pot water test. I thought it was a very fitting setting for today's Instant Pot video. I just had a special electric line ran for us so we could do this. I'm excited about doing the water test with you and I hope you're excited too. So as far as the Instant Pot instruction manual, it suggests that the Instant Pot water test is the very first thing that you do with your brand new Instant Pot. Basically, we take our Instant Pots for their very first complete test run. And for our test, instead of adding ingredients for a traditional recipe, we use the featured main ingredient of water. So water is essentially what we will be cooking up. Delicious, saucy water and water is what's going to make our steam pressure for our water test. And what's pretty cool is I have something special for you as a bonus at the very end of the video to do with your water from today's test. So watch until the end guys. But before we start the test, if you love Instant Pot recipe videos, Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel by clicking that subscribe button and most importantly, clicking the notification bell so you receive all brand new Great Chow TV Instant Pot videos. I would absolutely love to have you part of my cooking channel and my cooking community. Thanks so much guys and now on to our Instant Pot water test. Okay, the water test, awesome. Let's get to it and do our test. Today I'm using the classic Instant Pot Duo this one's the six quart, but the water test follows the same principle for all amazing models. So let's grab our Instant Pots and let's fire them up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna plug in our Instant Pots. Depending on your model, plug one end into the pressure cooker and the other end into the electric outlet. If your plug is permanently attached to your model, just plug it into the outlet. Okay, so here's a quick look at the lid. Here's the silicone ring, and it sits flush around the perimeter of the lid. It's held in by this circular metal bracket, and it peels out so you could remove it for a good cleaning. So before cooking, always take a look at that silicone ring and make sure it's in place so it makes a good pressure seal when you cook. And here's the pressure release valve and there's two positions, sealing and venting. The sealing position is the position you should move it to when you pressure cook. It holds the steam in. And the second position is the venting and that's the position you move it to to release the pressure manually. So I'm gonna quickly remove the debris guard and you can see the bottom of the pressure release valve and the float valve which is the metal pin that has its own silicone ring that when enough pressure builds up, that pin pops up, letting you know that you've achieved full pressurization. And after pressurization is released, the float valve pin drops. Okay, with that said, we're gonna begin our test. If you didn't know, Instant Pot's base handle is slotted so you can mount the lid on the handle for easy convenience. So to our inner pot, we're going to add three cups of water. Okay, now it's time to lock our lid into place. We're going to put it down at a little angle, lock it into place. We know it's locked because we're going to hear Instant Pot play a beautiful little song. And the lid handle and the base handles are aligned. Now we set the pressure release valve to the sealing position to create our pressure seal. Okay, now it's time to set the time. We press the manual button and we use the plus or minus button to set time. In this case, we're gonna use the minus button and we're gonna drop down to three minutes. And after a couple of seconds, it will beep letting you know that time is set. Now your Instant Pot's going into the heating cycle, which is gonna build up enough pressure. Your float valve is gonna pop up. The time is going to start counting down and you have entered the cooking phase. 
Once the time is up, we go into the low cycle, which means it's time to choose our venting method. Now it's time to release the pressure. We release the pressure by a natural release or a manual release. For our action pack test, we manually release the steam by moving the pressure release valve to the venting position. You can either use the back of a slotted spoon, tongs, or anything geared towards hand safety, such as an oven mitt. Me personally, I use my handheld colander, which is one of my essential Instant Pot accessories, and I'll put a link down below in the description area for you, so you can pick one of those up too. After the float valve drops, it signals that all of the steam pressure has been released and we could open our lid. Now we could open our lid. Instant Pot will play a beautiful little song, we tilt the lid forward to deflect the steam, mount up the lid onto the slotted handle, and there you have it, your beautiful water. Congratulations on your Instant Pot water test. You have successfully taken your Instant Pot through its first successful test run. And to turn our Instant Pots off, we press the keep warming cancel button. Oh yeah, so I promised you a little bonus. We're gonna maximize our deliciousness with our Instant Pot test water. So let's make a simple Instant Pot calming, healing, and warming ginger tea. Three simple ingredients, so check this out, guys. So to our water, we're going to add an additional five cups of filtered water for a total of eight cups of water. So that's three from the water test and five cups now. I'm gonna take fresh ginger root and I'm gonna peel a nice juicy section and then I'm gonna make about four to five slices of fresh ginger root. We're gonna add four to five slices of fresh ginger root one third of a cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of honey, and we're gonna give a really nice big stir. And now it's time to lock the lid into place. And our Instant Pot plays the beautiful little song to let us know our lid's locked. Now we set our pressure release valve to the sealing position to create our pressure seal. So now we're gonna fire up our Instant Pot, we're gonna press the manual button and we're gonna use the plus or minus button to go to five minutes. So the cooking cycle begins and the steam pressure begins to build. The float valve pops up and now we're under full pressurization. Now the cooking cycle is over and it's signaled by the beeping. We go to the low cycle. We're gonna allow the Instant Pot to stay on the low cycle for five minutes, which is the warming cycle. After the five minutes is up, we manually release the pressure. After the pressure has been released, the float valve drops. And now it's time to open our lid and check out our delicious Instant Pot ginger tea. Open the lid at an angle to deflect the steam away from you. This looks perfect, it smells delicious. I love the smell of fresh ginger root. Now we give a nice big stir to incorporate the ginger, brown sugar, and honey. This is gonna be an awesome ginger tea. And now it's time to remove our ginger slices. I use my handheld colander to remove the slices. And guys, down below in the description area, I'll place a link for this handheld colander. It's one of my favorite and essential Instant Pot accessories. So now it's time to serve up our ginger tea. I'm gonna ladle it up. I'm gonna spoon it up into a nice cup. I'm gonna take a taste. If you want it a little bit more full bodied in flavor, you could add a little bit more brown sugar. A nice squeeze of honey. You could give a stir. And that will be a delicious Instant Pot ginger tea. All right, so there you have it, Instant Pot Ginger Tea. All right, let's see how it tastes. Mmm. It's so delicious and clean tasting. It tastes like an ancient Chinese tea. I definitely feel peaceful when I drink it. 
Mmm, that's really good. Now, if you feel a little additional gentle warming sensations in your mouth going down to your belly, it's just a juice from the ginger root. It's the ginger juice. So for this recipe, I used a moderate amount of ginger root, but you could always use a little less or a little more the more you make it. Mmm, you've got to make this. Instant Pot Ginger Tea, everyone. Well, that was awesome, and I definitely enjoyed doing the Instant Pot water test with you today. So please don't forget to like this video. It lets YouTube know that it's good content for others. And please subscribe to the Great Chow TV channel by clicking that subscribe button and the notification bell so you're part of the Great Chow TV Instant Pot notification gang. This way you receive all brand new Instant Pot videos as I release them. And please don't forget to share this video with everyone that you know who would appreciate it. Down below in the description area, I posted a bunch of essential Instant Pot recipes and links that you could have fun checking out. And as always, comment below and let me know what you think. I always love to hear from you. Great Chow TV is also on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram with more delicious Instant Pot recipes and amazing pictures and videos. I'm always working on my skills, so come check me out, guys. I'd love for you to be part of my community. Thank you so much, and remember to keep it fresh and keep it wonderful in your kitchen. I'm Great Chow Jay, and this was the Instant Pot Water Test. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in the next video. It's just so juicy.